The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA for short, has released its winter outlook for this year. But does that mean anything for us here in central New York? Our weather authority meteorologist Violet Skybor has the answer. NOAA's winter outlook is in, and this year it's calling for a La Nina winter for the months of December, January, and February. So let's explain what La Nina is. Heading over to the Pacific Ocean, we have trade winds blowing from east to west, but during a La Nina event, those trade winds become stronger, shoving all that warm surface ocean water off to the west and upwelling in the east, which brings up some cooler ocean water to the surface of the eastern Pacific and off the west coast of the United States. This is also going to shove our jet stream further north, and our jet stream is, this, is the arrows and the path that our weather systems take. This is also going to bring down some cooler air across the northern part of the country and bring some wetter weather to the Great Lakes region and here in central New York as well. So let's look at the specific outlook for this winter that NOAA has put out, starting with temperatures above normal temperatures for the southern part of the country and along the east coast. Here at central New York, we're looking at big temperature swings. With a lot of weather systems going through central New York, there's cooler air on one side, warmer air on the other. So it's really hard to tell on average what our temperatures are going to be like because of all of those fluctuations. As far as precipitation goes, in general, we're looking to get above average precipitation over the Great Lakes region, but we'll have a more in-depth winter outlook for the central New York region, hopefully coming up in the next week. Well, thank you, Valerie. We appreciate that. We'll see what that means as we get really into winter in the coming months. Yeah, but today, so